How's it going, everybody? There is a project idea I've been wanting to try for a long time now. I've always wanted to know what it would look like to stain an entire project with wine. A number of years ago, I worked at a wine distributor, and sometimes the pallets would come in with a broken bottle and would stain the pallet underneath. It was always really interesting to me to see how vibrant the colors were, and each one would look completely different, and almost all of them had this really interesting warm color to them, but my favorites were the Cab Sauv palette, because they would turn out this beautiful purple color. I've always wanted to try a project where I would take a wine-themed project and use the wine to stain the piece. I found these barefoot bottles to be the cheapest, but it should be noted that different brands will give you different results. I gathered up a bunch of different kinds, so I had a few options, but in the end I just ended up using the Cab. I decided to use up more of this maple table material that I have. Seriously, if you ever see a solid table on the side of the road, pick it up, even if you don't need a table. There are countless projects you can make with these since there's so much good material in them. For this project, I decided to make a single bottle holder with two glass holders on the side for some wine glass. I was trying to make something that could be portable but also worked as a display piece. I think this would be awesome to take on a picnic sometime. All right, so the next little bit is pretty self-explanatory. So instead of narrating that boring stuff, I decided to start a new sequence that we're gonna call Jokes My Eight-Year-Old Thinks Are Funny. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah. Okay, what did the shirt say to the hat? What? You go on ahead. What the heck does that mean? You go on ahead, ahead of me. And it uh, also goes on your head. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, why did the girl avoid her gymnastics class? Wow. Her schedule wasn't flexible enough. Oh! <laughs> Guess what I saw yesterday? What? Everything I looked at. What the heck? <laughs> what did the daughter say when she had to vacuum the living room? What? This sucks. Oh! <laughs> when I poured my Cheerios in the morning, I found a message in the bowl. What was it? It said, ooh. Oh, I get that one. <laughs> oh, good. Because <laughs> Cheerios are shaped like O's. What did the duck say when he bought lipstick? What did he say? Put it on my bill. Oh, I knew that one. Oh, you know that one? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> what do you give a sick lemon? What? Lemonade. It's just mean. How is that mean? Because his friend died to make lemonade. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. It's pretty much just giving, it's just giving him his, like, his friend's blood is what you're doing. <laughs> like, here, I got some of your friend's Billy blood. <laughs> here, take it. It's you're right, that Billy is morbid, blood. isn't it? It's Billy blood. <laughs> Sometimes I like to hold my knees and fall over. Why? That's just how I roll. <laughs> I didn't get it. What do you call a belt made of watches? A waste of time. I get it. Okay, <laughs> good. I get it. <laughs> Did you hear I got attacked by a bear while camping? Why? It was intense. <laughs> <laughs> I took a moment there. Yeah. <laughs> Two cannibals were eating a clown. Why? One looked at the other and asked, Does this taste funny to you? <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, back to the normal video. No, back to the no, back, back back to the normal video. Back to slapping daddy with a mic. <laughs> I thought a lot about how I was going to apply the wine to the surface since I really wanted this deep, rich color. I thought that if I just brushed it on like a normal stain, the wood might not accept the color all that well, so instead I just decided to submerge the pieces. This actually ended up working very well. I wanted to make sure that the wine would soak as far into the wood as it was possible. After I soaked the wood thoroughly for about 10 minutes, I brushed off all of the excess wine and left the pieces to dry. And when I came back, I was very happy with how they looked.
I love the way these turned out. I noticed that the screws left a little bit of a mark on the wood, and the wine really ended up bringing out that flaw. I think the material from the screws reacted with the wine in some way. I'm not really sure why that happened. If anyone is wanting to try this, I would say do not put any screws in during any pre-assembly. I think that would fix the issue. I also ended up with this really interesting blemish here. I'm not sure at all what caused this one, so your guess is as good as mine. I still think it adds a lot of character, but I think this is something I would like to try to avoid in the future. But I really do like the way this turned out. It went together really easily. I did have to make sure that everything was oriented the right way since I drilled all the holes by hand, but it really wasn't that difficult. To get the size just right for this piece, I decided to oversize it for this bottle. A lot of wines come in different sizes, so I took a measurement of this bottle and oversized it by about a quarter inch. That should give me enough room for the future. And this wine fits perfectly. I decided not to put any top coat on it since I wanted it to look a little bit more rustic, but I think it would also look amazing with a little bit of shellac or polyurethane on it. To be honest, I'm a little worried something might start growing on it since it's literally just wine inside the wood. I'm a little worried about that, but I'm just gonna take my chances I don't think it's gonna happen. To be honest, I don't know the difference between different wine glasses, so don't judge me on that. I just grabbed what I saw in my cupboard. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Catch y'all next time. Daddy with a microphone.